That's cool. It looks more like a show car. I don't think that's the final final car. It looks more like the F1 version of it. I really hope it has a touch of white on the car, man. I really like white in combination with Red Bull, like the color white. Oh, already one of our sponsors? Oracle? They're there for data and whatever. They are really smart. They are doing so much stuff behind the scenes. There it is. Ooh. Oh, you big tease. I don't quite know what I saw there, but it looked very A new cool. logo. One thing I definitely couldn't miss was that new logo on the side of the car. Joining us to find out more about this partnership, we welcome team principal and CEO Christian Horner and Oracle's chief marketing officer, Ariel Kalman. This new is a very sponsor. exciting collaboration, guys. Yes. Christian, first of all, do you want to explain to the fans what this means for them? There might well, be a change in our esports stuff to too. Title Who knows? Partner, so we'll become Oracle Red Bull Racing. Um, which is tremendously exciting because we get to utilize the suite of tools and specialist services that you know, Oracle have. They're going to help us track side. It's going to help us, you know, with our uh, fan engagement program. Um, it's going to help us, you know, with all, all aspects of what we do. And, and of course, the new powertrains, you know, business as well. So uh, we're delighted with this partnership and really excited for what it brings, particularly for the fans and the experience we'll be able to offer. Oracle is awesome, exactly. honestly. Ariel, so thanks for joining us, first of all. Um, you were a partner last year in 2021. This year, you're a title sponsor. How is that going to change things this year? Yeah. But I mean, that well, Oracle thing that was on the side spot, right? The Usually there's a Red Bull logo. We really if it's that huge, that would be a learning, surprise. Uh, and trying to understand all the ways that a Formula One team needs the best technology to win on the track the and win in <laughs> so they can be efficient <laughs> and effective. Yeah. And how, so how on the on the track especially, how is that going to help things with the team? Yeah, there's been a number of areas that, that we've explored. Uh, hey, no, um, it's one of the more interesting ones for the it's, past It's normal, it's completely normal that they usually show so using our cloud infrastructure like the car platform, after the like talking about sponsors and stuff because... Hello! ...millions of oh. simulations for every race weekend to explore the optimal strategy based wow. on what's unique about that race. So it's been great and we're looking to enhance that even more going forward by adding a, a because number right of now really like it's a time to make people AI aware about sponsors everyone wants to see the car so most people are listening manual. most of the year so Chris, people don't care really things, about most sponsors like the data, from the fans how, and stuff so this is a good time to show them off for you which is cool well, data is our, our lifeblood so you know technically being able to tap into all the tools that Ariel's just and mentioned trust me, yeah is of tremendous value for listening us to as, that uh, stuff we're a data I've seen it behind hungry, the scenes you know, business, like what Oracle does fans, to be able to it's provide, actually insane you know a better like these technical partners and now even be, title sponsor you know, with Oracle they are doing really so much forward to like it's Wonderful. it's not even um, close you cannot Ariel, even consider so how is this and imagine what they are doing the There's so much stuff going on which you never will uh, see. Digital loyalty program. How is it going to enhance? They're not just slapping their logo on the car. Yeah, They're actually working close with Red Bull. And I highly. What are your expectations, or what what are you aiming to achieve this year with the team? Well, we're aiming very much to build on what we achieved last year. So uh, the target is to try and you know, obviously retain I'm the always... title. And uh, the big unknown is: have we missed something with these regulations? Has another team stolen a march because of? The hey, that's my new car. I will drive that in esports. We believe we've got a good car. RB18 is, uh, you know, coming to life uh, and seeing. We're going to drive the RB18. You know, today is 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 fantastic. So it's the culmination of a huge. Who knows? Maybe I will drive it later and, this year in real life. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing it <laughs> out on the track in anger. We're gonna we're gonna look at uh, the auto more auto detail detail later on. But what are the main? But I was asking the car wasn't shown the, yet. The fans out there should. Look They're still forward. talking. Basically everything. Um, because <laughs> it's a show. With a new like a real show change, lounge. The whole, philosophy Forever. of the regulations has has altered from last year so that means that every single component is brand new this year and uh you know with it being a ground effect car with it being designed to make overtaking hopefully easier the cars easier to follow each other i really That's, wonder how uh, these cars the drive philosophy like i want a you know, proper good design these simulation cars. mod so, so we can um, get a first a glimpse of how it curve. feels it's steep for everyone and it's a race of development between first I hope race they still have insane grip, race. but just like At you least. can follow close. Let's talk about the team, the guys. I mean, how has their bond grown over the season? Checo obviously had a, a fantastic season, his debut season with the team. How have they grown as a as a partnership? 
Why is it called RB18, not RB2022? Because last year's car was the RB16B, because it was it was just an evolution of the RB16 from 2020. Um, uh, because last year the regulations didn't change much, it was more like an evolution of 2020 cars. So they called it RB16B instead of RB17, and um, this year's is a full car, a new car, so it's the RB16. The RB2022, they are not going by years. I think the RB1 was when it was the first year, sorry, I'm, I'm really bad at remembering those, those numbers. In but I think like 204, 205 when Red Bull joined. You can kind of feel that sometimes with you three. Oh, was it even earlier? How proud you are watching. Oh, I think it was 204, well, 205. I think the most important thing was we really worked right? strongly yep. as a team and to see the so, two drivers working at the and numbers, and then you have a C. We're the now in 2022. We have in the team, the way that they coped. Come on, show it. Show it! They are teasing. They are teasing. I'm telling you. It's not the car yet. But like the blue is already like a lot of blue, yellow, red. I think it will be dark blue again. Come on. This is definitely a show car. Like the front looks more or less like... I, this cannot be the final car, right? Oh, come on. I don't know if it's a cheeser anymore. Red Bull would never show their hands that quickly. Unless they are so confident that they... They know they will already win this year. <laughs> Nicht FIA Spec, never. Nicht? Oh! Okay, that looked cool, but it's still just a teaser. Really starting to take shape now. So, just before we do get a final look, I'm as impatient as you guys are. It's time to catch up with the men who are tasked with taking it to the checkered flag. Please welcome to the stage. Uh, it's only Checo Perez and reigning world champion Max Verstappen. Gents, Max hello. looks like a school hello, kid. Um, <laughs> start with you. Congratulations. Orca rep yeah, racing already say, changed. Well, we'll nice. Get to that in a second, Checo. How about you? Feels like yeah. we were in Abu Dhabi yesterday. But, Who knows? There might um, be some esports so e merch season, you know, we change in some with way. The, with the engineers, and the saying, we just kind it's of just a maybe. To, to track, you know, with, with I mean, why should cars. I know? Uh, and yeah, we're starting from zero, all of us. Yeah. Um, how are you approaching this season, then, Max? Um, it's fine. Thanks. All right. Good. Different? Do you feel knows, a bit more yeah. pressure or anything like that? No. I mean, I just. Do what just, I just write Oracle I, I across your forehead. Yeah, think, that should do the there job. There's no reason to suddenly <laughs> be different. Um, and uh, of course, uh, as a driver, now with the new Definitely regulations, you me. have to, you know, get used to the Honestly, guys. Max, like, Max gives off such a school kid vibes. I don't know why. Um, so that is going to be the biggest adaptation, but the rest. This hair uh, makes him look so young. Yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, Covid's been a bit rubbish, hasn't it, over the last couple of years? I mean, I, I shouldn't say anything today. My hair looks races. awful. What but, race are you, you know, most looking forward to? Then Checo next season. Yeah, well, I, I, most, I'm sick. All right, them, you know, I think uh, just Stop to be touching. back to, to normal. Following the countdown to launch, 20 which seconds. Tag Heuer kicked off last week with the reveal of the stunning new Tag Heuer Red Bull Racing Formula One edition. Are we going to see your watch? Tag, I love your watches, Checo, but please, course, I want to see you nicely there. But the countdown is over. Seven, you can finally six, show you the five, Oracle Red Bull Racing RB18. Yes, Strap yourselves two, in. one. Here we go. Show it, show it, show it, show it, show it. Oh, yes. Finally. Honestly, if there's a huge Oracle on the sideboard, I would like that. That's a lot of white on the car. That will make the car look really different. Because usually they have a bull there. Happy New Year. I'm going through channel in 15 seconds, literally. <laughs> 33. Uh, are they gonna turn it into a 1? I'm quite sure they will, right? 11. 1. Okay, that looks clean. It reminds me a bit like with the nose of the GT Sport, like the Formula, what is it? Okay, we don't have we. Oh, the Oracle on the side looks good. I like that. That's a lot of white. That's, it's pretty much the same livery, just on the new cars. It's a tiny bit different due to sponsors, but it has the same color paint. It looks awesome. 
It looks good. It looks good on a new car. I like it a lot. There it is. <laughs> oh, Wait, how did they get the car there? Absolute beast, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, looks the first hot. thing I've got to say though, Max. It's not black, guys. It's just the light. It's, it's the a really, really dark navy blue. Front. It's, it's never right going to be black. This season. Uh, it looks better than 33. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like it. Simple and to the point. Uh, Honestly, a different beast, isn't it? It's, you know, this, this I didn't year, expect a huge change. They're going through some of the biggest changes in recent. I thought years. if they so change something, certainly the Red Bull soapbox carts that we it will be this year where they changed the color scheme. But they are sticking us. with what they, they had the on. recent years, yeah, and I think sure. it looks great. On, the Oracle on the side actually looks awesome. Will it? I think that suits the car way better than having right, another ball there. Talk us through some of the biggest changes. Right? Well, the biggest change, obviously, what do you guys is think? from a regulation It's the same, the it's just different sponsor placement cleaner. and There's fitted to the, the 2022. That were on last year's car. The whole concept of this car is to try and promote overtaking and close racing. So it's a, it's a new concept, it's a new yeah, philosophy. Yeah, the, the nose and, and the front wing look great. Also, the rear wing looks team. awesome, the shape Checker. of it. Over but I don't you, think that's the final car. How long does it take to get used to a new car? Is it easy to, to kind of transfer your skills or does it take a while? Well, no, I think it takes a bit of a while. We don't have the wheel covers on yet, right? It. I think you know, you, I cannot spot the wheel covers. Regulations with the tires as well. They're going to be different. Uh, the racing, you know. Uh, we have the wheel covers. To, oh, to that looks closely. good. So there's a lot of things that we as a driver have to you learn. You don't even notice them. So definitely very interesting, this, these new regulations. Not bad. Christian, with all the new changes, it must be hard to kind of predict how the car's going to react. But really. yeah, so this year, Haas looks what pretty much the same. Red Bull, small changes, but at least the Red Bull looks good. <laughs> and performance and things like that. I really well, like it. It suits the car well. It's going to evolve very, very quickly. I mean, I think by the time we get to the first race, the car is not going to look very much like this. And I think the evolution... Yeah, you barely notice very, them, but that could also be down yeah, to lighting. Maybe at daytime the, lighting, the you might uh, see Max, them more if they're reflecting a bit because they're shining. The new car in the, in the simulator, has it been a lot of difference from last year? Uh, Wish the really car had more white much, in it. But, uh, yeah, it. Yeah, same, but me, to be honest, the, the Oracle on the side the the cockpit, adds the white to it, so I'm fine like with that. Because on the shirts, the Oracle logo is greyish. Uh, so I'm happy that it's not grey, it's actually like white. A bit less grip. It's okay, we will do one, two, three, four, five. Because there are five slots, it's put a three minute thing. You know, um, it's there you exciting go. the start of a new season to see, you know, where do we fare? In my opinion, to our, you know, I will. Competitors. I love how it looks, Misses okay, but I will give it a four. <laughs> it seems like only yesterday just because since it's I last saw them, but, pretty you know, much nothing if, new. Uh, I love you know, new liveries, so that's why I will never give a livery that just and, looks good, but it's kind of the same as every year. You know, they look 10 out of 10. It looks. Awesome, I go. love it. All right, like the Fantastic. car never looks now, boring, but it's nothing home, new. Just the Oracle. To find out even it's a fall for me. I'm just and like, the, honestly, uh, now I'm after seeing it, I'm just interested. I want okay. a good How mod somewhere. On a set of course, I know they have a mod for the 2022 rules, cars. Um, to come up with, uh, but uh, you, know, the you never know how accurate that is. Mercedes said they would put that car early into iRacing, so I guess that's the first time you kind of get a feel for how these cars were handled. But then again, Again, is a concept team at 2021 so Mercedes everything has so much more grip shape and feels and completely different compared to the is, is F1 cars on the F1 performance. game so you have a, like it's much easier to drive than the F1 game so at those regulations and then I hope the F1 the game gets a drive and, and, and it doesn't feel floaty I hope we can have grip finally because I already feel like there is not much grip for us on the game that the car always feels like it's sliding last year you know, one a. All through the I hope I didn't right? influence that, but I think we can all agree it's a stop. great looking car. Well, the car is it's a just prototype, and basically, aside from the Oracle and side part, race, it's, evolving. it's pretty much the same. Never run oh, what I noticed, the Mobile One on the so front wing end plate, evolving. Now, we have like to on the that side, that looks great. Of the financial regulations. Didn't even pay so attention to that. Really choosy on where are we going to If they give another shot of this. You know, this, this year, car, look, this year, this year at the, bo one of the bottom there, jumps with the red the bigger oh, wheels. that looks cool. See that affecting things Small detail, but looks good. Certainly the pit stops, maybe. Yeah, it's definitely going to have an impact on the pit stop. The tires yeah, are, retinal, yeah, that looks are really cool. More bulky. I like that. Um, and and so, also they know, have Red Bull Cola the at, at the rear wing on the seconds, inside. I don't think we're going to be challenging it. I didn't know. Like, like Honestly, this is the first time I've seen the car like that. I've seen a tiny bit of it, but without the paint. Not much. I'm pretty sure we can get the first time I saw it properly with these wheels and tires. Brilliant.
Just maybe the guys might have to beef up in the gym a little bit. Cool. Definitely. I like it. <laughs> but Chekhov's helmet, yeah. like Christian, thanks. Just uh, qu question: is the, the is the helmet at the back like actually eight months of racing? Red Bull's uh, Chekhov's new helmet. Celebrating with us again in November. Like a lot of white on it. Is that it? Well, sadly, like here at the back, this today. is Chekhov's helmet. You have enjoyed the Would that be the Earth? That will be the Earth, oh. from if what you I know. The start of the show. Head to Red Bull Racing's Come YouTube channel there, yeah. to watch from the beginning, or if you missed the hidden hey, code Jen. in the show, <coughs> it's in the car reveal. <laughs> Have you met Czech oh, and Max? Oh, yeah, yeah. The key word was hidden. Come on. There. Uh, speaking of which, for more Oracle Red I know Bull Racing content, already for long. head online to since the, the racing point That's days since 2018. He was surprised when he saw me last year in the paddock of Red Bull. I was like, dude, I'm already here since a year. I just wasn't at any racing. Oh, I don't know. To watch race well, highlights, follow my steps. driver interviews and get up close and personal with behind the scenes insight throughout the season. Oh, yes. A small HRC lobe on the back. Slash oh, the yeah. I like the slash there. Thank that you. Was good. Wonder good racing to the boys right. for the first didn't race in Bahrain, that. which is just a few weeks away. Hasn't that come around quick? Yeah. Let's keep cheering them on all the way to know November. Good luck, boys. Good luck. Let's go. See ya. Great looking car. Cool. I don't think we've watched the whole car lounge. But I like it. That's a great looking car. Sick. Can't wait to drive it in eSports. And uh, also for the guys on YouTube. Cheers for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.